don't like that uh, Yankees outcome? Yes, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> they were they weren't playing very well for a little while. Oh man, and that big error that Rizzo made was <laughs> just Bill Bucknerish. Um, <laughs> boy, oh boy, was that bad. I got I got really really nervous, but thankfully, if they win today, they're in. But yeah. that was uncomfortable. Yeah, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> They're embarrassing! Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. It's of course Go Yankees. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to Sports on Patreon. Follow us to the account, subscribe like button. Welcome back. Today we got a uh, the new trailer for Bloody Beggar is out. Bloody Beggar! Yeah, yeah, we said Bloody Booger before. I'm not going to say it again, but I just did. Ha ha, boom, tricks on you. Blow your nose. Uh, oh, look. We, we know about this one. A giant booger. The uh, Nelson-produced film. Kevin is uh, the actual director of it, I think. And we've seen a songs and I think a teaser from this. This is the Nelson produced one. That's so. true. Here we go. தங்கமில்லை <laughs> <laughs> அதுக்குள்ள போய் ஆளெல்லாம் ரெடி பண்ண முடியாது இவன் தான் ஒரே ஆப்ஷன் உனக்கு முந்நூறு கோடி கிடைக்க போகுதுன்னா மிரட்டலாம் போயிடுவியா இதுதான் ஒரே வழி ஒண்ணுமே புரியல வரப்போற ஓரோருத்தரும் ஓரோரு ரகம் அவங்க முன்னாடி தான் நீ நடிக்க போறேன் கண்டிப்பா மாட்டிப்பிஜினல் நெல்சன் இன்ஸ்பயர்டு கண்டிப்பா Looks like it could be wild. Yeah. Uh, his films, those are the two things that they normally incorporate in Nelson films from what I found. Like, they're absolutely insane, usually. The, like, the premise. And then they're absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and and we've said it before. A couple of our reviews of his and watchalogs has an uncanny ability, especially when directing, of being able to incorporate the wildest, zaniest, most ridiculous thing and then bring you right back to some really grounded stuff you care about the characters. It's really uh, utterly fascinating to yeah. me. <laughs> and it'd be interesting to see obviously since this is not a Nelson right directorial. But it feels like it's got his thumbprint finger, on it. Yeah, print, for sure. To to see how this gentleman does yeah. as a as a director writer. Um What is that guy's name? The funny guy. I know that What we see all the time. We like, he, the, the problem is he never has a, a photo is thumbnail. Is it Redden? Is it Redden yeah, Kingsley? I think it is Redden Kingsley, but I don't know because... Okay, he never has an IMDb there's photo. There's never a photo on IMDb. Composed by Jen Martin. We've heard uh, their uh, compositions before. Very good. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. Man, when was the last time there was like a Nelson 
obviously not specifically Nelson. He's his own thing that I've never seen before. But right, who who's the closest that we've had here? Like a Quentin? No, very different. Wes Anderson. Yeah, yeah, but it because very it's different, very but very different. But but Wes the, Anderson the, has a lot more c- c- comedy. Yeah, like it, but he has comedy. Wes Anderson has that ability to make something so. Not realistic, yet still have groundedness to it in a way that's I mean, I mean, weird. I guess everything ever all at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was his own thing, obviously. Yeah. But that had a lot of humor. The, you, those brothers are a good example, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not the yeah. brothers. The, uh, no, the... Um, whatever their name was. Yeah. That's that's the closest we've gotten to Nelson here, is everything everywhere all at once, which um, we need more of that. Yeah. We, we could use a lot more of that. Like these dark humor comedies that i feel like people crave I, I it sucks that studios have been like no nothing ever outside of ip gets made anymore like yeah. there used to be one or two big comedies every year yeah and there's folks that can just do it maybe they don't want to gamble the money but they've got the money to produce it themselves like jack black can do it will ferrell could do it yeah. um they don't always work i mean will ferrell's i don't know if comedy works anymore people like his old school stuff but um it, uh, I don't know if it fully works anymore because, like, even like Adam Sandler produces this stuff, but it's yeah. like Adam Sandler comedy, right? You know? Right. <laughs> but you're like more family friendly normally. Right. I mean, I know he did. Uh, what was that film? Gemstones or what? It, not Gemstones. Um, he's on a couple of serious things where he's gotten some awards. I didn't watch it, winks. but I heard it was really good. Yeah. The, uh, what was it? For? He. I didn't see it either. No, I did see it. The basketball one. Uncut gems. Yes. That was it, right? Sandler's a. Interesting. You don't expect him to be as good of a dramatic actor as he is. Mm-hmm. But Sandler's a pretty good actor. Or basketball player. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> but he loves but basketball. Sandler, Sandler's a pretty good actor. Yeah. But yeah, we just, we don't have, uh, there's a lot, there's just, there's a lot of stuff that Indian cinema does that nobody else does. Specifically Tamil. Uh-huh. Um, even though we have seen some really, really good comedies actually from Hindi this year as well. Yeah. Uh, in uh, that, uh, the Express one that came out No, but earlier. this year's been a really nice uh, eye-opening time with Tamil being all things to all people this year. Mm-hmm. Doing everything. Um, obviously, uh, the, the black comedies that we've seen from Tamil, which so is what this looks like, is the best we've seen. So good. Um, from India, uh, for sure. I mean, even better than any comedies I've been seeing from. <laughs> yeah, we just don't. We don't do them. We don't really do them. Unfortunately. Oh. Well, I wish. I mean, I really wish we had somebody with the balls to be another Mel Brooks. Yeah. Because there's an audience for it. They'd get a lot of heat, but that would be good. That'd be good press. Just have another Bel- Mel Brooks who just doesn't care. Yeah, and you know who could do it? And I'm surprised he really hasn't because he was doing it for a while. Is Sasha Baron Cohen. If there's anybody who doesn't give a... Uh, Crap! Well, his his it's Sasha Baron Cohen. He's a great actor, obviously, but his specific like the stuff he writes is more the Borats and that style, which, which is not this. And he's admitted he can't. He's too recognizable now. He can't yeah. do what he used to do. Yeah. Now he he can't. People know that they're going to be in a movie if they see this. They weird see guy. it's him. Yeah. I mean, and the stuff he says is no longer like. No. Um, it's oh it, look at this guy no, saying it's weird like, stuff. It's like oh no, oh, that's just this a is clearly party. you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> It's not the it's stuff not outlandish that Sasha anymore. Baron Cohen said yeah. that was outlandish is now just normal politics. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. Anyways, we blame you, Sasha Baron exactly. Cohen. Exactly. Anyways, uh, a little great. Uh, looking forward to this. Uh, let us know if you're looking forward to this and anything else we need to know down below. Just-